it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with a haul video. If you're interested to see what I got from Ulta, then just keep watching. Here we go. All right, guys, how y'all doing? It's been a minute since we did some hauling over here on the channel. I hope you guys are well. This shirt came from Target, the best $12 spent in my life. So uh, go get you some. But been buying makeup y'all been buying makeup one thing I've already like sneak peeked to you guys in a weekly makeup basket are these two things which are the Shea Moisture these are the um Manuka <laughs> Honey and Yogurt Hydrate Repair Shampoo and Conditioner I like that these are no sulfates parabens all that good stuff and they are about mm, $10 each and I've used them a few times and I really do like them and they are sulfate and color safe sul sulfate free and color safe there we go and I've used it a few times um, so I am excited to put these in my shower and keep using them mm -mm -mm. all right I do have some products from hope look hope look that I want to sneak in really quick um, my friend emailed me and was like, Laura Mercier is on Hot Look, and I ran, y'all. I ran. Actually, I was in a car, so I just, you know, <laughs> multitask while I was riding in my brother's car. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so Laura Mercier, I love. It's one of my favorite high-end brands, Laura Mercier and Hourglass, favorite high-end. And so the one thing they had um, that I'm really excited to try is the Laura Mercier candle glow soft luminous foundation i feel like this might be discontinued because if you look on Sor sephora's website they only have like certain colors left for purchase but i could be wrong but i'm excited to try it so this is what the outer box looks like and then you open it up i got one and two um vanilla and this is what the packaging looks like. Very similar to their other packaging. So I talk about the Flawless Fusion, both the regular and the um, Luminous, a lot on my channel. So I'm excited to have the Candle Glow. I've said in the past that I thought Flawless Fusion uh, Luminous would be like the regular, but Lumi, and it's totally different formula. So I'm kind of curious to see what kind of formula this one will be. It is the same color... Oh no, it's a little different one. Okay, I thought it was going to be the same color as this one, but they're different. I still haven't matched this to see if it's my color. It might be a little bit light, um, but I can make it work for sure in the winter time. So that's the first thing that I picked up. Next, I put, picked up the Press set, Setting Powder. So this is like their loose powder, but it's pressed. And I believe this is the one that... Um, I believe this is the one that Emily Noel has been talking a lot about lately. I'm not for sure, but um, this is what the compact looks like, and it's just called Translucent on the back. Again, haven't tried this either. Um, it does have like a little sponge on it, but this is what the powder looks like. Super soft. Ooh, it's kind of white. All right. But it is silky smooth. I, like, I don't know if you've noticed in my last couple of videos, I've been doing very natural makeup. And what I've been doing is my Project Pan CC Cream um, with just setting the under, under eyes with a pressed setting powder. I've been using one from uh, one of my weekly makeup basket videos. And then just doing mascara what is it? Give me brow and blush and highlight. Literally, that's it with a lip, and I've really been liking it, so I'm excited to use this with this new little simple look. If you're curious about how I get this, I would be more than happy to do a get ready with me showing it, but I don't know, like, is it too simple? Let me know. Let me know. Alright, and then the final thing that I picked up um, was Laura Mercier, and this was the, it's a lip gloss. And this one is in Free Spirit, and I've never tried their lip glosses before, um, but this is what it looks like. It looks very similar to the um, Flawless Fusion um, concealer, like same packaging, it's kind of funny. Um, and then the color, oh, okay, it's a little more baby pink than I thought, but... I, it has that hint of mauve that I really love. Okay, I had to wipe that off. We can't let that 
gloss get on the leopard come on now guys leopard has owned my life I have this uh, charge to Fitbit wristband this shirt I have leggings that are biker style um I feel like there's more but that's all that's coming to mind oh I have like a sleep set that's like a jogger set that is leopard print and then I have an additional just like sleeping pants that are leopard like the hold, it's strong. It's a very strong hold at the moment. Um, Alright, this is from the Ulta online summer sale that was going on. I really wanted to, some of this is repurchased and some of this is brand new. Typically in the last year or so, when I buy things from Ulta or Sephora, it's like body care or hair care or skin care. And so I have really gotten away from doing like just an a makeup haul like just makeup and I have been like having the itch to just buy makeup to have new makeup to use kind of see what the hype's about on some products but also try out some products that other people don't talk about so this is all makeup except for one item and I am so excited for that I also have a Sephora haul coming up soon that is mostly makeup as well I told you guys about three weeks ago that I got a gift card to Sephora so y'all I just placed my order it'll be here soon I'm really excited for that but let's dive in I did get this back from NYX uh, free with purchase and it's kind of cute you can like open it up and put lip products in it or whatever you want to put in it so love that and then the first thing that is not makeup is Eco Tools complexion buffer I am so obsessed with makeup brushes like I literally can't stop buying them and I have to like hold myself back <laughs> but this one looked really nice and the eco tools in general look nice and I've never really tried them but they were on sale for the um the summer sale so I decided to get this one and this is what it looks like oh we already got some five little, little hair sticking out oh gosh hopefully that's okay but it feels soft and I like that it's flat it actually feels really small and light kind of surprised by that but I was hoping that I could either do foundation or powder like pressed powder in with it and I don't really feel like I have a brush that is like a true buffer brush so this will be fun to play with and see if I want to um, purchase any more and here's the thing I was doing a lot of price matching on Ulta from their sale items I was comparing it to Amazon and to Target and a lot of this stuff the sale price at Ulta is the normal price at am on Amazon and at Target so I really did my my research to get things that were either the same price or cheaper with the Ulta sale. For example, I really wanted to get another Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, but I do not need any more bronzers right now. I do not. Abby, Abby, you do not. <laughs> but it was on sale for $8 at Ulta for the sale. But if you look on Amazon and Target, that's the normal price. So I'll, I'll just wait maybe like a week. <laughs> maybe longer so I, w I did my homework so this is stuff that was truly cheaper from the sale all and it's like cheaper than it normally is anywhere if that makes sense first thing I got was another one of the Catrice blush box I love these I have another one that I talk about a lot in golden coral I believe but this one is in glistening pink 020 and from the pictures online it looked like it was similar to like a NARS orgasm or a Milani luminoso if you watch my recent um, to clutter you saw I got rid of both of those so I was in the market and it's not truly what I thought but it's still really pretty um, it's more of like a true pink of course blushes don't really swatch that well it's more so of a true pink instead of having like the gold shifts that those other two have but it still looks really pretty and I love 
the golden coral one that I have, so I'm excited to see what this looks like actually on the cheeks. Okay, this is another product that I've been so curious about for so long, and it's such like a cheap product that I'm like, why have I waited so long? But this is the NYX Wonder Stick, and I got mine in Universal. I was thinking about getting it in light, but then I watched Stephanie Nicole's video of her Walmart favorite makeup, and she had it in Universal, and so I'm like, well, she likes it. I like it. Um, and this was cheaper during the sale than it was anywhere else. And I don't use a lot of cream products, but I watch Jam Beauty 89 because I watch a lot of YouTube, okay? Um, and she is all about the cream products. And so I'm like, you know what? Let me try some stuff while it's on sale and see how I feel about it. So this is what it looks like. One end is a highlighting stick. And let's see. Swatch that. Oh yeah, it feels creamy. Doesn't feel as dry as I thought it would be. So that will be pretty, it actually looks prettier than I thought it would be. And then here's the contour side. And the light one looked more like maybe a bronzer where this looked like more of a contour. And it's super creamy and I think you get a good bit of product in it. Um, where does it say? Um, two times 0.14 ounces, so that's not too bad for a little, a little stick like this, so I can't wait to use it, and maybe I'll just film a full face for suppressions. How does that sound? Alright, moving on, I got another NYX product. This is the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray, and I have used the matte one a long, long time ago long time ago <laughs> and that was before I was really into like dewy products and now that I love dewy products I'm like let me give this a try I used to only do my Urban Decay all-nighter spray like that was it but now I'm just so curious about all setting sprays so um, I thought I would try this out and oh yeah that sprayer's nice smells nice well we'll just Oh, that sprayer is perfect. Do I look dewier? Do I look dewier? <laughs> but excited to play with that a little bit more. Uh, okay, y'all. Y'all know I love my Buxom lip glosses. And I heard Milani had like some dupage, dupage, dupes, dupe of it. So this is Milani's uh, Keep It Full. This is their version of a lip plumping lip gloss. This one is in 07 Almost Natural and it's such beautiful packaging. Let's see what the actual product looks like. Okay, something very sticky on it I think from that plastic wrap. We'll move along. So this one was described online as being a mauve color. Ooh, big doe foot. Big doe foot. That does not look mauve <laughs> Ooh, it smells good. It smells like their lipsticks, honestly. Do I want to ruin this lip? Okay, let's do it. Mm, okay. Oh, she's cute. She's real cute. What do you think? Hmm. It's a, a lot lighter than I thought, but it definitely feels like that mint taste that you feel at the Buxom. not mad at it. And then two more products. These are both from L'Oreal. These are old products as far as how long they've been on the market. And one is a repurchase. So the repurchase, if you watched my um, makeup I used up in 2018 video, I had a lot of products in there that I was like, I want to repurchase these so bad. And I'm slowly, re slowly repurchasing them. The first is the True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup, and mine is a Neutral 1-2 Soft Ivory Classic Ivory. I have gone through, let's see, I had one that was too dark. I used half of it and gave it to my cousin, and then I got one that was this color and used it all up, so I am on my third bottle, and I love this, and Stephanie Nicole also talked about this in her Walmart video. She said that this was made in the same factory with the same formula as some high-end foundations, and I remember really liking it, so I'm excited to see how I feel about it since it's been about 
eight months since I've had it. Um, but I remember really liking it and L'Oreal really has classy packaging for their price point. So that is a repurchase that I'm excited to use. And then L'Oreal was buy one get one half off. So I thought I would go ahead and try this product, the L'Oreal, um, Lash Paradise. Can you believe I've never tried this? Like ever. I think when things are too hyped, I get like are y'all sure? Are y'all sure? But currently I'm using up the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, so I thought this would be a good time to use this and see if I feel like they're dupes or compar comparable or whatever, just to kind of get my feelings on it. But I am excited to have this in my life and just be a part of like YouTube hype of like two years ago. I mean, I'm a little late. I'm a little late. Alright guys, that is all the makeup that I picked up from Ulta and the few things that I picked up from Holt Look. Woo! After my Sephora order, um, we're gonna have to like do a no-buy situation and really use up this collection. I'm curious. Okay, let me ask this question real quick and then I'll let you guys go. I've always felt like having a channel on YouTube, I need to be a part of new makeup to share with you guys. But if I dedicated like six months or so, maybe longer, to just only using what's in my collection and doing a no buy, would you guys still find that interesting or do you like when there's new products coming in? Let me know. I'm super curious about that. I, I feel mixed. I feel like you want to see new makeup, but I feel like you guys also love seeing project pans and no buys. So let me know. Let me know. But that is everything that I have for this video. Keep an eye out for upcoming videos. Well, there'll be a Sephora haul. I have Summer Favorites coming up. That is a collab with one of my besties here on YouTube. So keep an eye out for that. And just, you know, I keep the content rolling. I always love suggestions. Leave them down below. But that's all I have for you all. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. I am a small channel. You will. I repeat, you will lose me in the YouTube world unless you subscribe and turn on notifications. It's free, y'all. It's free. But anyways, that is... <laughs> I always die when people say that. Okay, anyways. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!